Hello and welcome to Market Call. I'm Mark Bunting in for Michael Hainsworth today. For the next half hour, we have David Burroughs. He's president of Barometer Capital Management, and he's taking your calls, emails, and tweets on North American large caps. You can call us toll free. There's the number. There's the email address as well, marketcall at bnn.ca, uh, or tweet us at Market Call. Great to see you, sir. Great to be here. We know that uh, one of the things you like is momentum. Uh, we've seen quite a rally, specifically with U.S. stocks and even global stocks, Japan, for the last couple of months. Have you changed your strategy, uh, philosophy the last while? Or are you sticking with dividend no, payers? No, no. You know, uh, we're pretty consistent. We're all about finding parts of the market with consistent themes, what we call leadership themes, uh, and focusing in those areas. And it's very interesting. You know, we're in a pretty strong market. But there is very good relative performance from those companies with, with stable cash flows and the likelihood of a growing dividend yield. And in a world where interest rates are as low as they are, we are quite heavily skewed towards dividend growth. And there are some really interesting secular or multi-year themes that are playing out where a lot of the companies in these groups are being revalued to higher levels. So uh, no change to the philosophy. And what's nice is, is Dividend growth tends to give you much lower volatility, along with equity-like returns. So let's say uh, at the beginning of September or so, you, you're completely happy with the way you were positioned leading into this, what we've seen the last couple of months. Yeah, you know, I mean, as time's gone by, I think in our straight equity strategies, we probably have become a little bit more, uh, a little bit more aggressive. But the reality is you're getting as strong a return out of dividend payers as you are out of what would be traditionally the more beta-oriented sectors. You know, the playbook in late in the cycle might be to go to resources and go to energy. Frankly, those are not the sectors providing the returns. Uh, there are sectors m more with dividend growth that, that, are, that are behaving quite well, and there's some new themes that are emerging positively too. And, and what are those new themes? Well, I would say, for instance, um, if you're looking for the likelihood of dividend increases, uh, financials in the U.S. particularly are getting to a point where their capital bases are getting rebuilt. We'll talk about one today, where given what comes out of the tests in March, you're likely to see some price step functions higher in dividend yields and more share buybacks. So banks and some insurance companies have become more attractive and are, are adding to the themes that have been working previously. Also, there's a number of industries now looking at converting their corporate structures toward the REIT structure and toward the MLP structure. And as Canadians, we've all seen that movie before when we went through the trust boom. So right. we've got some things that we like to look for for the likelihood of those things happening. And they can lead, lead to significant revaluations in prices, as you saw in Loblaws earlier this year. Exactly. All right, David, then we'll take a short break. We have a call uh, to kick things off on TELUS. So uh, stick around for that. Stay tuned for uh, David Burroughs for the next half hour or so. North American large caps is the topic. <laughs> 